Hello and welcome to another video presentation about AWS and in this session we are going to talk about the key services provided by AWS. As we already know that AWS provides a wide array of services and that's why it will become difficult for a student as well as for experienced person to decide that which services they should learn first. And therefore I am here to tell you about the services, key services that you should learn first and some where you can learn it. So let's get started with the services of AWS. So first of all, let's talk about the computing service. The first computing service that you should know about and it is very important to know is the Amazon EC2, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud is a scalable cloud computing service which allows you to run the virtual servers in the cloud. And it is used in web hosting, application development and high performance computing. As well as there are several instances based on specific workloads. So you should also know about those instances that which instance should be used on a specific workload or on a situation. And you should have some knowledge about the pricing as well because there are different different price according to a specific instance. So it is very important for you to understand the pricing consideration. It is enough for a beginner to know these things. And if you are an experienced person, then you should also have some hands-on hands -on experience with the EC2. And the second computing service which comes into my list is the AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda is one of the great service which is provided by AWS. And AWS Lambda provides you the facility to run your code without providing and managing the servers. It is based on the event-driven architecture and one of the most important thing is as its name suggests AWS Lambda, Lambda functions are used by events for executing the code or for triggering the code. And for creating the Lambda function, you can use the Java, Node.js or Python-like programming languages. And this service can be used for real-time data processing and real-time image resizing and for microservices. It is very very useful in microservices. That's why those companies which are using microservices, they are using AWS Lambda especially. And you should know about the pricing model of this AWS Lambda because as they are serverless service, so they are charging you based on the execution time and ex number of execution of your code. Now let's talk about the third service that you should know about and it comes under the Amazon storage services and it is the Amazon S3, simple storage service. Simple storage service is completely based on the object and bucket concept and uh, it is an object storage service which provides you the facility to store and retrieve the data. Basically in S3, the data is getting stored in objects and objects are further getting stored in buckets and buckets are having specific names. So many things are there. You will have to explore many things about the objects and buckets in this case. And you should know about all the storage classes which are present in S3 like the standard classes, intelligent tiering or glaciers and many others like that. It, and it is commonly used for web hosting, media storage and data backup. And you should know about the data management or the security policies of this Amazon S3 service. It is very, very important. And you should know about the pricing model of it as well. And most important thing is the hands-on experience. You should have some hands-on experience of creating an S3 bucket, uploading files, setting permissions and accessing the data through the S3 console and using the AWS SDK, Software Development Kit. The fourth and last service that you should know about comes under the Amazon Database Services and it is Amazon RDS, Relational Database Service. As in data, relational database management systems, we have to write lot of queries on different different SQL statements for revoking the permission, for granting the permission, for rollback and all such things. So for simplifying all these things, Amazon RDS simplifies these uh, database administration tasks for you and it provides you the cost efficiency and the resizability of the databases and there are several database engines which are supported by Amazon RDS like MySQL, PostGRE SQL, SQL Server and Oracle. You should know about the availability of RDS and scaling of RDS. In scaling, you should know about the benefits of it like read replicas and you should know about the security and compliance of RDS. And at the end, you should do some hands-on practical if you are an experienced person. It is very important for you to do the hands-on practical if you are a data engineer. So you should walk through the process of creating an RDS instance, configuring database parameters, connecting to the database and performing basic operations on Amazon RDS. So these are the four services that you should know about if you are an experienced or a beginner because these are the most important services that everyone asks in interviews. So I hope all these things will definitely help you to get succeed in your, uh, in your interviews or whatever exams that you are giving. So that's all about this session. If you are having any problem, doubt related to this, then please comment it out. I will try to give it, uh, give the solution of all your problems or doubts as soon as possible.